2022 BMW 128T is a Europe-only VW GTI rival. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Contrary to the expectations of some traditionalists, the world didn't suddenly end when BMW quietly introduced front-wheel drive models a few years ago. The X1, X2, and 2 Series Grand Coupe all ride on the company's UKL platform, shared with bigger minis, bringing the combination of transversely mounted engines and drivetrains that pull rather than push. While all are offered with the option of X-Drive in the U. S, the base 28i versions are all front-wheel drive. Given the marketing BMW used to put behind the dynamic purity of rear-wheel drive, it isn't surprising these models' wrong-wheel drive configuration is barely mentioned. The configurator website features a prominent tab promoting the X-Drive upgrade. But in Europe things are different. There, BMW has used the same mechanical package to create the 128T, a front-drive hot hatch, one that positively celebrates the new driveline configuration. The T suffix is drawn deep from BMW's past. The original T, with capital letters, was launched in 1963 as a performance version of the Neue Klasse sedan. The designation stood for Turismo Internazionale and brought a collection of mechanical tweaks engineered by what was then a little-known tuner called Alpina, including a 1.8-liter four-cylinder with dual carburetors and an output of 110 horsepower. A lowercase t version of the 2002 coupe followed, with the later fuel-injected version becoming, with Germanic logic, the T. After a long lapse, T branding was brought back for the chop tail variant of the E36, and, in Europe, E46, 3 Series, precursors to the first 1 Series hatchback. Today's F40 Generation 1 Series hatchback is effectively the 2 Series Grand Coupe's utilitarian sibling, shorter in length, taller, and less fashion conscious. The design shares the Grand Coupe's goofy front overhang and aggressively angled headlights, but the rear hatchback appears both simpler and more elegant than the four door coupe's Baroque derriere. Whereas the range topping M135i X Drive uses the same 301 horsepower four cylinder engine and front biased all wheel drive system as our M235i X Drive Grand Coupe, the 128T variant you see here features a less powerful, 261 horsepower version of the 2.0 liter turbocharged engine and just two driven wheels. It would be sweet if European exceptionalism had also given the 128T a manual gearbox. More basic versions of the F40 are still available with a stick, but sadly the only transmission option is an 8-speed torque converter automatic. Despite that, the driving experience is impressively raw and unfiltered. Fears that BMW might try to disguise which axle is driven are disproved by the first dose of full throttle, as the 128T scrambles for traction when launched hard. Bumpy surfaces also produce the unmistakable sensation of torque affecting the steering, although in an exciting rather than a wayward way. A limited slip differential and quick-acting traction control ensure the driven wheels fight for a common cause rather than battle each other. The steering delivers keen response and a level of feedback unfamiliar in a modern BMW outside of those that wear an M badge. Although 19-inch wheels are optional, our sample car rode on the standard 18-inch alloy rims shod with Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, which generated impressive grip on cold, greasy British asphalt. The 128T chassis has been given a sense of fun, its cornering line readily influenced by accelerator position. It fights under steer gamely, but excessive speed in slower, tighter corners sees the front tires run short on adhesion first. Easing off the accelerator persuades the car to rotate and tighten its line neatly, and snapping the throttle shut with enough lateral load can even bring modest oversteer. The factory stated curb weight of 3,350 pounds is hefty for a front drive hot hatchback but it's 100 pounds lighter than the M135iX. Drive. Unlike the junior M car, the 128T doesn't get adaptive dampers, and on rougher roads the suspension setup is definitely on the firm side of comfortable. There was also noticeably more road roar in the cabin than would be experienced in the better insulated and more pliant 228i Grand Coupe. Yet it's hard to criticize any hot hatch for prioritizing performance over refinement. The turbocharged engine sounds good when being worked hard, pulling strongly through its muscular mid-range and only starts to fall off when closing in on its 6,500 revolution per minute redline. BMW's claimed 6.1 second 0 to 62 mile per hour time makes the 128T 1.3 seconds slower than the M135i X-Drive, but much of the difference is likely due to the all-wheel drive model's greater traction off the line. 
The front drive car certainly never feels slow or boring. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.